previous class you have learned different types of input devices. Uh, we will continue uh, the same thing and you have also learned uh, classification of printers. Okay. See mouse. Mouse is a what type of device? Input device. Very good. See you have different types of mouse. You have two button mouse. You have three button mouse. Okay. So in two button mouse, you have only two buttons. Uh, this is a mouse. This is a three button mouse. In two button mouse, you have only left and right click. Okay. Those are all old ones. And here you, you, uh, you were having one ball type. Okay. That we don't use it now because after some time the dust accumulates inside that. Okay, so it cannot move in the x, y position. This cursor means mouse pointer is called as the cursor. As you move your um, mouse, uh, the cursor moves, okay. So it moves in x and y directions. So the earlier uh, mouse, in the earlier mouse, the ball one, a lot of dust used to accumulate. Different types of monitors, okay. So uh, now we will continue with the mouse as I was telling you the mouse had earlier mouse two button mouse had one ball at the base of the mouse it used to move in x y direction okay after prolonged time the dust used to get accumulated inside the mouse so you have to clean it regularly so that you have to clean with the spirit so now we are not using that because it has become very old. So these are all, this is a new mouse, they are, this is a cordless mouse, okay. So you have three buttons here, left, right and the scrolling wheel. The scrolling wheel is for moving the screen up and down, okay. Left and right for properties. So you have laser mouse, you have, so they are all new types of mouse. So mouse is an input device, okay. So it is a handheld pointing device. It controls computer operations without the use of keyboard. Because of this mouse only, you are get, it is very easy to operate your system, right? So you can move, move the page up and down. Uh, you can uh, point it to the uh, screen and all. It, una it enables moving around monitor screens to activate your commands, okay? So... Uh, so it is very essential for windows. So you have different types of mouse, two button mouse and three button mouse as I told you. Okay. So now printers. Printers I have already explained you in the previous class. So how printers are classified? Yeah, it is classified into two types. Impact and non-impact. Printer is a which device? Output device. Very good. So, printer is an output device. It is classified into two types. Uh, impact and non-impact. Under impact, how many types of printers are there? Under impact, yeah. Dot matrix? Daisy wheel. Okay, very good. Under non-impact, can you name them? Very good. Jet printers, laser printers and thermal printers. How it works also I have explained you in the previous class. If any one of you have missed my class, you can log on to youtube.com, go to Drushya Vahini channel and you give Dr. Sumati Ramakrishna Gauda. It will display so many YouTube classes. From that you select printers here, YouTube. Okay. So, if you have missed, you can refer that. So, here also I have told you, you have black and white printers, you have color printers. How it works also I have explained you in the previous case. Matrix printer speed is 25 to 450 CPS. What do you mean by CPS? Characters per second. Yeah. So, it, it is very uh, less expensive compared to uh, the other um, inkjet laser and 
nine printers. Okay, images printers print five to four to five pages per minute. PPM means pages per minute. Laser printers print four to twenty, uh, four to five to twenty, twenty four uh, pages per minute. Laser has got very high speed. Uh, the quality is also very nice. And the line matrix printer prints. 400 to 2400 lpm means lines per minute okay so these are all the speed of the uh, what printers so it is the cost also we have given technology this technology whether it is impact or non impact so all this we have covered in the previous class scanners also we have learned right different types of scanners no okay see normal scanners it is an scanner is an input or output device no input device scanner is an input device it is scanning a data for you when it scans it goes into the system right you are all scanning your photos and all for uploading your online a banking exams and all no so normal scanner we use that is the image scanner in this normal scanner you can scan your photographs your documents word file excel file all this you can scan okay this device transfers texts graphs diagrams images uh, onto the computers you can scan all this next is you have different types of scanners so there are two types flat bed scanners and Handheld scanners. So these are all come under flat bed scanners. So when I I have already told you about OMR and OCR. Okay, OMR and OCR they are flat bed scanners. OMR means optical mark recognition or optical mark reader. Both are correct. OCR means optical character recognition or optical character reader. So these are Fed into the flat bed scanners. Okay, two hundred to three hundred sheets we fed at a time. One by one, it scans and gives you the result. Okay, so here, what are the different types of? Can you can you name any handheld scanners? Very good. This also I told you in the previous class, right? In the input devices, handheld uh, scanners are nothing but when you go to mall and supermarket malls and all. when you purchase so many items they will not enter manually they will it will be just like a t shape one ha hand held means and one small it will be t t t shape okay they just press the buttons it scans only the barcode what do you mean by a barcode it is thick and thin black and white lines okay each line has got a number depending on the thickness of the lines okay so this barcode scanner it only scans the barcode okay got it so barcode is a which type of device input or output very good input device okay two types internal and external very good so speakers speakers i told you See this modem. You have different speeds: fourteen, fifteen, two fifty-six, two fifty-eight. Higher the uh, kbps means kilobytes per second. Uh, higher the speed, uh, higher the uh, what the speed you take. Higher the, for example, fourteen is very slow. Three hundred is very fast. Okay, you should always go for higher number. Okay, your speed of the internet will be. Fast. Now it is in terms of not kbps, in terms of gb. Gb means what? Giga bytes. Okay. Okay. Fine. So all this I have explained you in the last class. Next is speakers and sound cards. This allows for playing sound and music. See, this is uh, what uh, inside the CPU you have a sound card. If you don't have a sound card installed in your CPU, then you cannot hear the uh, songs or voice. Suppose if you want to hear my video in your system, 
if you can't hear my voice, myself, what I am speaking now, then you don't have a sound card in your CP. Okay? Suppose if you want to listen to any beautiful melodious songs and all, you could have this. Okay? Because computer, I told you, right? it understands only digital. So, sound means electrical signals. So, sound means um, digital signals will get converted into electrical signals. That is done by the sound bar. You can hear that voice. Okay. Got it? How many types of primary memory you have? Two types. ROM and RAM. What is ROM? Read only memory. RAM is? Very good. Yeah. So, which is the volatile memory? Very good. RAM is a volatile memory. It is called as a temporary memory because it, it only holds the data till the power is there. Okay. So, which is the non-volatile memory? ROM. ROM is a firmware. So, it is read only memory. Yeah, permanent memory. So, primary memory is also known as main memory or electronic memory. So, again it is, uh, I told you, this is again classified into volatile and non-volatile memory. Now, you know volatile memory. Volatile memory is nothing but your RAM. Non-volatile memory is ROM. Okay, that you should remember. Volatile, you remember that temporary memory. Non-volatile Permanent memory. Permanent means ROM. Temporary means RAM. Like that you remember. RAM means random access memory. ROM means read only memory. Very good. Can you name any one of you? Somebody said EEPROM, correct? Anybody? ROM, in ROM you have different types. You have three more. So this ROM performs booting, storing of data, moving, move, movement of data and all. Okay. So here you have additional three categories of ROM. You just write down, you have three types of ROM. That is P-ROM, P-ROM, E-P-ROM, then E-E-P-ROM. I will tell you how to remember. Okay, now you just know ROM, no? ROM is what? Read only memory. You add P to that. What is P? Programmable, read only memory. P ROM. Programmable, read only memory. The other one is E P ROM. E means what here? Erasable, programmable, read only memory. The third one is E, E, P, ROM. E means, what here? First, electrically, the last one you continue. Electrically, erasable, programmable, read only memory. It is easy to remember. First, you should know what is ROM. In ROM, you have how many types? Three types. So, which is that first one is programmable, read only memory. P, ROM means? Programmable read only memory. EP ROM means erasable, programmable read only memory. EEP ROM means electrically erasable, programmable read only memory. Now it is very easy, na? So, what is this programmable read only memory? So, if this is, this is designed, this chip is designed according to the user's requirement, how they want, their needs, okay? So, this is programmable. It is, you can program it uh, as per the user's requirement. So, their chips are prepared based on user's requirement. So, later I will show you how the from chip looks like, how the uh, programmable chip looks like, okay? Later we'll see the diagrams. So, this uh, I'll complete this. Next is, it decides the contents of the uh, user uh, 
read-on is uh, the contents, how user wants. Okay, like that. Accordingly, they will design. Once data is recorded on the pre-ROM, the same cannot be changed. Once it is programmed on the chip, it cannot be changed. So, programmable means it is designed as per the user's needs or requirements. Okay. So, it, once it is programmed, it cannot be changed. Got it? So, what is EEPROM? Similar to PROM, but the data can be erased by the help of a special device for ultraviolet light so that the new data can be recorded. Here, again, as per the user's requirement, you can design the chip. But here, the data can be erased. That's why we add EEPROM. Means erasable, programmable, read-only memory. Then uh, how it can be erased? By using a special device called ultraviolet light. Okay. Ultraviolet light. So once it is uh, erased, the new data can be recorded in EEPROM. Programmable, you cannot change once it is programmed. Okay, in EEPROM, e e uh, the data can be erased uh, with the help of a special device called ultraviolet light. And again, you can record new data. So, you can, it is reusable. The other one is slight little bit chip. Why I am telling you in detail means you will never get confused if you know the definition of each ROM. Okay. So these are different categories of ROM. They will definitely ask anyone. They may ask you ROM or PROM or EPROM. They, they will just, uh, the 3 plus 1, 4. ROM means ROM, read only memory. In ROM you have three types. Okay. So what each does you know now. Okay, now select the correct precise answer. So here, the so next is uh, E E P ROM means uh, it is uh, electrically uh, erasable read only memory. Okay, here. So in EEPROM, uh, I told you uh, the data can be removed with the help of a special device called ultraviolet light. But here the data cannot be removed inside the system only. The chip has to be removed from the system. It has to be exposed to the ultraviolet light. Only then only you can remove. In EEPROM, very slight difference. Here, the data can be removed electrically, means without removing the chip from the computer. Got it? That is only the difference. That's why we say electrically erasable, programmable, read only memory. So, here the changes, changes could be made on the chip without removing it from the system. These chips could be handy at sales, outlets, and the price changes could be affected latest one. Every time you need not remove the chip from the computer. You can remove it electrically. Okay, inside the system. So this is the latest uh, EE prompt chip. Okay. Software is a very good set of instructions. It is a program. So it is uh, which is uh, your computer works with the help of a software which you cannot see. Right. So here it is a set of programs for the software. The instruction, it is, this is just one basic uh, instruction. Here. So here, how software is classified into two types. This one, system software and application software. See, when you switch on the computer, uh, this is the system software which got inside already built in. Okay. So in system software you have system controls, you have system support.
both the system development. Okay. In system control, you have OS. What is OS? Very good. Operating system. Then you switch on the computer. You can see, you no know, Windows Vista, Windows XP, or Windows 97, 95. That is the OS. Means your operating system. So this makes your computer. Uh, it acts as a coordinate coordinator between the user and the computer. Okay. Because of this OS only, you can uh, what take the printer. You can work. It communicates between the user and the different parts of the. OS, DBMS, what is DBMS? Data, Database Management System. My goodness, forgot so soon. I have explained you in the previous class. Okay, DBMS is a software which makes you to manipulate your data in the database. For example, you can add the data, delete the data, retrieve the data, you can do manipulations. Okay, because of this software, DBMS. Which are the DBMS softwares? Can you name any one or two? You know MS Access, you know Fox Pro, Oracle, they are all DBMS software. Okay. Next is system support. What is this system support, utility, library, performance monitoring? Now, sometimes when you, when you open your system, sometimes it will show you that DLL system is missing. Means, system files are there which, which makes your computer works, okay, with the OS and your computer. So, these are all the uh, library functions. All it is installed in your software. Okay, utility. These are all utility means you can connect your camera, you can connect different devices to your computer. Means your OS is making to so utilize with this, communicate with this, uh, what, devices. Okay, so there are all utility programs are built in with the OS. Okay, next is system development. What are the system developments? Compilers interpreters and translators okay assemblers yeah in, uh, compilers interpreters and assemblers these three are called as translators application generator means nothing but translators okay see what it does anybody see this is this we are very very important each and every topic i'm teaching you is very important so compilers means what? They will give you huh? what it does. Compilers, interpreters, and assemblers, they are called as language translators. Translators. Translators means language translators. This one is compilers. What does this compilers means what? What it will do? All these are present inside your Oh yes, okay. Your computer doesn't understand anything unless it understands only low level language. What is low level language? It is a machine language. Machine language means zeros and ones. Now it is very difficult. You cannot, earlier they used to use uh, what uh, programming they were doing in zeros and ones using low level language. It is very, very tough. If you have done any mistake, it is very difficult to debug the program. What is debugging the program? Debugging the program means finding errors in the program and correcting it. Okay. So here in the compilers, what compilers does is computer doesn't understand your numbers, alphabets, whatever the data you see. It has to really get converted into low level language, that is zeros and ones. See, basic, Fortran, and what is basic? Basic is a BASIC. Basic is a your software. This is your uh, basic uh, high level language. Basic is a high level language. Fortran is a high level language. COBOL is a high level language. Java is a high level language. 
These are all high level languages. What do you mean by high level languages? It is just like English like language. Your computer is used to uh, what? Uh, program the computer by writing the programs. Okay? Uh, yeah. So programmers write by using high level languages. These are the high level languages. Your computer doesn't understand high level languages. It has to be converted into high level languages to low level languages. High level languages to low level languages. High level basic, Fortran, Cobalt, they are all high level languages. Low level language is nothing but your machine language. Machine language, nothing but written in the form of zeros and ones. So low level machine computer understands only machine language, low level language. So these are the translators, which are the compilers, interpreters. Third one is assemblers. So these are the language translators. So these converts high, uh, programs written in high level languages to low level language. Low level language under machine language. Machine language is nothing but written in the form of zeros and ones. So whatever basic, cobalt, photon, photon. Oh, one, two, three. Third one is COBOL. I am telling you COBOL. COBOL. These are high level languages. Once the program is written in any of these languages, it will be get converted into low level language, machine language. How, how it, it will not get converted automatically. So this has to be converted by these three. Okay. Compilers, interpreters and assemblers. What is the expansion of basic? This is very important. They have asked in the exam. Write down. Beginners. Double N this is. Beginners. All purpose. Beginners all purpose. Symbolic. Symbolic. I means instruction. Instruction code. C means code. So basic expansion is this one. Beginners all purpose symbolic instruction code. Okay. So just write down the expansion for abbreviations they will ask you. Basic expansion is beginners all purpose. All purpose symbolic instruction code. Okay, got it? Yeah. Then uh, what is Fortran? F O R T R A N. Fortran is formula translation. For Fortran, it is formula translation. Shall I rub this? Fortran is formula translation. Fortran is Formula F O R N U N A formula translation T R A N S L A T I O N formula translation. What is the expansion? Formula translation. We are not using these programming languages now. When I was doing engineering, we we were programming in these uh, languages. We have learned these languages. Now we they, they won't teach for engineering. Now direct Java, C C plus plus. We didn't have even Java during our days. Okay, we learned that for the engineering. So this is formula is formula. Fortran uh, is formula translation. See, they will ask you for this uh, abbreviations. What is COBOL? COBOL is Common Business Oriented Language. Common Business. Common Business. Oriented, oriented language. This expansion is very, very important. 
Cobol is Cobol Business Oriented Language. These are very difficult languages. Man. This Cobol is very difficult. It has having so many steps. We have to follow those steps. Okay, identification division, environment division, all that steps you need not learn. Just learn the abbreviation. Okay. Now the program written in these languages. They are all high level languages, has to be converted into low level language. So, this compilers, interpreters, assembler does this inside the computer, inside your OS. All OS will have this concept. Okay. So, here what compiler does? Now, a program written, any program you take, whether it is Java or uh, Fortran or Pascal, any program, C, C++, this is a program written in, uh, you just imagine this is a set of lines, any, any language, high level language. Uh, so, how, your, once your program is fed into the computer, how, how compilers translate into low level languages, okay. So, compilers, what the function of the compiler is what? Compilers, compilers reads the whole, why there are so many lines, right? Compilers reads the whole program at a time and converts it to low level language. So, the interpreter, what it does is line by line. Interpreter, first it will read this line, then it will convert high level to low level language, line by line. Compiler will read the whole program. At a time it will convert. Interpreter, it will read line by line, one by one it will read, okay, then it will convert to low level language. Got it? Arthaita. Then what does this assembler do? Anybody? Assemblers. Assemblers. No. See, assemblers are also, they are also trans language translator, but it only translates the program written in assembly language. What is this assembly language? Mnemonics, assembly language using mnemonic code. It is very difficult. Nobody codes using assembly language. Okay. So, assemblers are used to translate only the program written in assembly language. Assembly language. Assemblers translate the program, high level program, uh, written in assembly language to low level language assembly language means the quotes using mnemonics n n e mnemonics n m e m is silent m n e u m i o n i c s mnemonics code mnemonics code okay now you got the difference between compilers interpreters and assemblers can you answer it in the exam? See what they will give is compiler. No, they will not tell compiler. A program, uh, OS, a program written in high level languages is translated into low level languages by reading the entire program to low level. So, which one you will select? Compilers. If it converts line by line, Interpreter. If the program written in assembly language, which translator will consider assembly? Got it? Super. Now you have learned the language translators. Compilers, interpreters, assemblers, they are called as language translators. What they will do is sometimes identify the language translators. They will give compilers, interpreters, assemblers and fourth choice is all of the above. Which is the correct answer? All of the above. They are all language translators. Okay? All of the above. That 
is a precise answer. You should remember what does, which uh, compiler, which translator does what. Okay? Have you got it? Where means what? It is a set of programs. Okay? And it is a program given to a computer to do the task. Okay? It is classified into two types. System software and application software. Now you have learned all this system software. So OS is your system software. BBMS is your system software. System supporting our utilities, library functions and all that. System development means these are the compilers, interpreters. They are all built in. Okay, which translates your high level language to low level language. Yes, all this is done inside your system software. Okay, next is application software. Again, application software is divided into two types. Okay. Difference between uh, what? Compilers, interpreters, assemblers. Now, system software means if you know already built it. Okay, now moving to the application software. You have you have heard now Microsoft, uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, they are all application software. Okay. So in order to learn these uh, programs, you should have an OS, operating system, okay, already built in. This is a must. System software is a must, okay. Then you are installing application software. You can install so many. You can install Photoshop. Uh, you can install gaming programs, so whatever you like, you can install. But this is a must. Okay. Then into two types: general, general purpose and uh, specific purpose. Okay. What is this general purpose? Name only telling you. No, general means one software can be used for many purpose. Some will use for writing a letter. Some will use for what? Writing a document. Some will design the greetings like that. Some will be. Uh, some will make your own slides, PowerPoint presentations to present your work. Okay. So general purpose and specific purpose. General purpose means one application can be used for many purposes. That's why we are calling it as a general purpose. For example, which are general purpose, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, mailing, messaging, these are all different types of general purpose, okay. Once you, once you install Microsoft MS Office, you will get everything, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, okay. So, this is, these are the software which we are using for more than one purpose, okay. Uh, next is specific purpose. What do you mean by a specific, specialized? They are used for only that purpose only. For example, payroll, to calculate payroll, inventory, financial accounting, income tax. Can you name which is that specific uh, software? Tally. Very good. Tally you can only use for this accounting purpose. For finding the inventory and all. Okay, you cannot use tally for writing a letter and all. Right? Got it? Specific only for specialized purpose. Now I told you, I can give you some more song. Some more song. That's like uh, you are using washing machine, right? Washing machine is also a computer. It is a specialized computer designed for washing your clothes. Now you have oven also at home. Oven cooks your food. Only it will cook. It will not wash your uh, clothes, right? Washing machine will not cook your food, right? They are specialized computers. This type of computer we will use, we will design the software and that means this is the uh, host machine. Uh, normal machine we design the program. That program is transferred to the chip. That chip is transferred to your washing machine, right? That's why it washes your clothes. How we wash clothes like that only the program is designed. See, first it will soak your clothes. Then it will wash, means it will rub like this. Okay, like that only. Number of tips required to stop the machine and all. Rim, spool, all that. Okay, so now you know the difference between specific and general purpose. 
watch your flows you need one and a half to two hours right you are you are uh, making just within one hour you have different types of settings also in that see for the washing your uh, delicate clothes how you will wash no you will take so much of care you will not rub it with brush and all like that it is the brand if you want to wash your delicate clothes you have to set that knob to delicate wool suppose if you are if you want to wash your woolen clothes then you have to set that knob to woolen like that or if you are putting mixture of all types of clothes daily clothes normal mixed mixed clothes right now there are different types of washing machines are available steam wash and all that okay so it washes more than it washes very nice It is not still specific purpose. Okay, now you you have seen. No, there are robots and all. They are all specific purpose. Okay, you there is now robots have come in Japan. No, see, a sumati man is only one man. You can create like me only. You cannot make out whether the, uh, this is robot or sumati man. That you have watched robot Rajnikanth's movie. See, very advanced movie it is that at that time only they have more than ten years is over I think. See the movie it is so beautiful. Lot of technology they have used uh, in order to identify the real Rajni Khan. You know what he does? Uh, the robot can move your uh, head three sixty degrees, but I cannot move my head. Or I can move only so much. I cannot move my uh, what neck three sixty degrees. My head three sixty degrees. Then only I can fix it, right? See the technology. They all look like a life, and then he find yeah the robot will not have a uh, human like blood. Uh, the blood flows means uh, he identifies by seeing the blood. They are uh, all are robots. How come someone has come here? Then that is the way he. What he finds who is the real one, right? Now, even news readers are coming nowadays. They are making in Japan. Actually, one professor is there is very famous. He wanted so his class was engaged in so many uh, cities and all. So in in that case, he could not go to some city. The same uh, robo was made like him only, and it is sent there. See the beauty of the computer science, right? Artificial. Right? You have watched the Jurassic Park, English movie. See, they are dinosaurs. Is not real one. They were imagined and seeing that when it is created, how it looks very natural. Babies, they are the English movie. The baby goes below the bus. Right? It is not at all possible. So it was the those three thieves were uh, behind uh, the baby, right? Uh, see, that's such a beautifully they have, uh, you know, pictureized the movie. All are artificial. Okay, so what is this simulation and modeling? Artificial intelligence, we call it as AI. These are all the very vast subject of computer science. Very difficult to program. Okay, we teach this for our computer science students. We we make them do PhDs. Now, so many even if if you go to hotels and uh, hotels and all nowadays they are having a robo. They don't have many manpower, right? Then what uh, supplier will come to you? When you go to hotel, you will sit. Supplier will come and ask you what you want, madam. Like this. the same, they design the robo. It will come. So it is already programmed. Table number one, two, three. When it comes to table number one, you will tell the menu, right? What you want, masala, dosa, idli, vada, all that. The vada, some code is there. Idli code is there. It will, it will record and it will tell. Okay, so like that, manpower is also reduced. If you want to run a hotel and all, you can uh, yeah, make two or three robots and save your money also, right? Uh, so that is what in nowadays so many. In India, they are using robots in hotels and all. If you go to Japan, uh, there uh, in the airport only, uh, uh, all uh, like a beautiful girl type. They have designed a child-like design. It will come and ask you if you are new to the city. Oh, hello, can I come? Can I, may I help you? Like that, it will ask. 
because we don't know japan story we don't know where the that area is suppose if you want to go to some area you will tell you will read i want to go here here seven cross six cross went to another like that i don't know whether going to that is there or <laughs> okay like that some street name all that it will it will guide you take this uh, to export go there like that. okay so it is making use of very use of money You are all you all are using mobile phones, right? It is very user friendly, no? You don't know how it is programmed, right? That is also your computer. It doesn't understand whatever you type. You type messages, text, everything gets converted into zero and one. Okay? You take beautiful photos of yours, everything, no? That is what it is all written in high level language. Yes. These high level languages get converted into low level languages by the interpreters, compilers, assemblers, like that. Okay. So why we use these um, GUI based software means user friendly. GUI means what? Graphical user interface. Your Word, Excel, PowerPoint, they are all GUI based. You need not learn anything if you know the basics. How to start the computer? How to go to MS Word, Excel? You can learn on your own. When you point the mouse pointer, your cursor, in small small icon, it will display the meaning of that icon. For example, if you don't know the shortcut keys, also if you still you can use. Control X is for what? Cut. I thought you need not. There were scissors. They are given. Small icon means cut. If you want to paste, what you will do? Control V is the shortcut key. You need not remember Control V also. Once floppy text small icon is there, paste icon. Okay. If you want to go copy it also, one small icon is there. Control C is for copy. For everything, you small small icons are there. Means it is graphical user interface. Windows based. All Windows based are very easy to operate. Whether where DOS means what? This operating system here, nobody uses. How many of you are using DOS? Please raise your hands. No one, because you have to remember the commands. You cannot do that. To copy the file also, you should know how to type the commands. You have to go to the DOS prompt. There you have to type. If you want to create a folder also. Name directory md. You have to give folder name. Here you go to the uh, what? You go to the respective uh, drive. You go there. You create your own folder, new folder. You will give your own user name or some computer related name. So easy, no? But if you sit for half an hour, you can learn these basic things. Okay. So if you, you don't know anything, also go to help. There it will help you. Okay, type the command. It will help you how to execute. Okay, so this is what the beauty of computer. This word Excel PowerPoint is created in high level languages, which makes you so easy, simple to operate. Okay, so this uh, this is used. Uh, this is written by using C, C plus plus, Java, like that. Okay, so this makes use of System software is a must. Without this, application software will not. Okay. Again, application software is divided into yes. which are they? Yes. Yeah. In general purpose, how many types are there? Word, Excel, PowerPoint. These are all the examples of general purpose, which where you can use for many purposes. Some will, uh, some will draft a letter. Some will uh, do some meetings work like that. Okay. Specific purpose, only for specialized purpose. So they are what tagging, and for the uh, program written for uh, many uh, what um, domestic application devices. For example, washing machine, oven, like that. Okay. Even uh, nowadays, your vehicle, you when you Buy some latest technology vehicle, for example, car and all. So see, you can see the rear view also, right? So the, they are all what uh, advanced technology they are using. 
no all are recover everybody wants to buy that advance one no one will go otherwise someone will have to stand behind the bus come back like that they are there no no not needed from here only i can uh, start my car open the doors and all by using remote control that is all bluetooth technology yeah okay maximum technology even in two wheelers also if your indica petrol is uh, like uh, it is coming to an end if uh, it is drained fully then it will show you the indicator it will uh, show red light or there only you can see okay if you are using electric vehicles also it will tell uh, you need to recharge your uh, battery okay so there are all advanced in future we now all electric vehicle if we get provide us uh, just like a petrol bunks everywhere now we have petrol bunks no in future petrol bunks will be replaced by the charger the boots no already all of them they are providing everywhere free you can charge your vehicle free okay they are competing with the nature and nature doesn't have that but it is a very nice uh, vehicle they provide you with charges you can charge it at home so ranges of it applications now science and technology scientific research see where we are using this applications when every day is no you yeah, have seen isro no so already they are uh, ready to fly the second rocket already in 2014 they have already launched the satellite in the uh, water mars uh, then uh, uh, so in research uh, in isro they are using defense they are using they are isro then uh, everywhere when you see the latest technology for war and all they are using Chinese are very smart. See, uh, to, uh, for the war and all, they have created artificial mosquitoes. Okay, artificial mosquitoes they have created and they have released it. It will not allow you to kill the uh, what? It will bite the enemies like anything. Okay, Corona. Okay, you you can see the how they are doing. Every day they are inventing some or the other. Next to brain, they are inventing the brain. <laughs> so see, that is what the technology. They are only developing all this. Even our um, our uh, our in the defense also they are giving uh, what very powerful uh, trucks and all. It is uh, highly loaded with the uh, technology. You can find the enemies if they are hundred meters away. Nowadays, latest phones are available. Actually, I changed my phone recently. I just observed one phone. It costs about one lakh twenty-five thousand. I just asked him what is the features in this. He showed me I like it very much. See, now we are here. We cannot see after two or three kilometers away. Now I am sta- I am standing outside, but I can see only one kilometer. That's it. Behind one kilometer, I can't see anything. But the phone catches more than ten kilometers. <laughs> That's what the even the uh, see. I am standing here. I am standing here inside that uh, inside that window. The opposite uh, building is there, na Kaveri. What is going on from window? It will tell me. I can I can uh, record from here only without going there, right? So all that helps you because see the technology. Sixty degrees camera they will have, but the resolution is very high. That's why they charge you. Uh, it's higher end than the I think um, they are uh, Samsung is uh, competing with the uh, iPhones. Okay, so the phone when you put the photo in that it is very nice, very nice. Okay, you can if you can make yourself more attractive, more beautiful. If I'm dark, I can make little bit of uh, like that. Okay, you can beautify my yourself. Yeah, you you can make 
balloon will make the that uh, co contracted one expand. Okay, it will expand the your esophagus. Esophagus means what? Whatever you eat, it will go to the esophagus. The pipe the right. So pipe. It will be expanded. So without that is all the major operation. Suppose if the doctor doesn't know properly to operate, see the convenient patient will die, right? Even a small doll, even a small kid, I think uh, five years, six, seven years back, a dentist, one day, a baby died, he could not do the operation properly. See, you can avoid all this. So, that is what kidney operations. Now, if you want to, earlier we, we didn't have all these technologies. Earlier they used to cut the body, open it, remove the stone. Nowadays, uh, because of this endoscopy, it will go to the kidney, it will cry, that the big stone will be crushed to small stone pieces, one by one it will suck and it will remove. See, it is so easy. Within one hour or two hour, you can you will become normal and it will work. Nowadays, nobody gives you so many long holidays. If you work for some private company, they are very strict. They will give you one holiday or not, I don't know. But they will not give you at a stretch for one month. Earlier, they used to take one month meal, means your salary gone, your family is dependent on you, right? See, now, the because of this technology, it saves your time, everything. Money you have to spend. So, this is what the technology they are using in medicine. So many brain tumors, laser treatment, even the, uh, the glasses. We don't like to wear glasses, right? So laser technology is available, completely spectacles are removed. Some will use spectacles for fashion, like that, okay? So this is what, the laser technology, you are, uh, what your um, eyesight is corrected. Whether you have uh, having a long or short eyesight, it is connected. It is corrected provided that the age, uh, they will tell you some age, within, if you are within that age only, it is correct. Otherwise also, they are still inventing. Cataract is removed very easy nowadays. Earlier they used to do um, operations and all. Cataract comes after 60 or 70 years. That is over. what it looks like uh, in, on the cornea, the white the thing develops. You can see the people who are having cornea. It is nothing but the fat deposited on the cornea. It is removed very easily nowadays. Okay. This is all the uh, technolo advanced uh, technology. Okay. You are using in medicine everywhere. That's what I am doing. Even in business. Uh, in business they are using. Marketing, marketing, I told you, no, I gave you very nice example, scooter example, how they are designed very nice, okay, then everywhere, ma. even uh, tiles also, nowadays, laying tiles, computerized tiles, they are all, even the color also, they are mixing the uh, color, if you want some different shade, they, from white uh, paint, they will mix up some colors and they make painting and all. There are different types of uh, paints are available by using computerized mixture. Even the um, fabrication work is also done by the computer. Even the wood carving is done by the computer. Because uh, by hand it will, it will take a long time manually. Machine only will carve. Ganesh, Pati, Lakshmi, Saraswati, all that wood carving is very fast. Because when you are uh, planning to build a new house, you can just have a new house. Okay. So that is what we are having uh, applications of IT everywhere. Where not everywhere. Okay. Enterprise resource planning. What is this uh, supply chain management? Suppose uh, if one company is selling too much of the Colgate and all Lux. So how to manage this? So they use all this. 
now my stock is this much now i have to take ready for that you need raw materials again depend it is a chain so in order that is everything is uh, computerized this morning thing all that educational applications education means even in schools colleges and everywhere it is computerized even the banking all your competitive exams are also computerized you are not filling manually you are applying to the internet online application you are only downloading that ticket all tickets the report it generates the report as soon as you enter the data if you only enter the data also it will show you this is not correct where the characters where the numbers suppose you are if you enter some characters in your date of birth it will not okay so uh, it will only guide you how to enter the applications you all are entering to the online okay you are making use of this technology maximum technology is available in all the education fields so we are the case we have more than 1 lakh students admissions how do we do Online we do those who are coming in person also we do everywhere across the state we are doing sitting at home. Okay, even your filling of forms, uh, paying of the fees, everything is made fingertips. There only you can pay the fees. You need not come to care so you. Some are in Gulbarga, some are in Mangalore, and all they are paying from their own homes. Okay. Computerized distance education. Now already we are using our uh, YouTube channel, Vishya Bai YouTube channel. Those who are missed today's class also it is already recorded. They can watch uh, the same class later also. That also we are doing. We are doing live classes also. All these are all the applications of IT. See, these are all very useful. I am teaching. Taught you what different types of printers, right? But I was not able to show you those um, those different types of printers here by watching my videos. You could make out now which is a dark matrix. Like I just drew the diagram, but I cannot do perfectly. So from that, you have more advantages. You will learn better. So we use uh, computers for making you understand easily. There are different ways of teaching the subject. Some I can teach you. Some I will ask you to refer our own videos. So later you will understand perfectly, right? So many means, many means we are given. You can download our the videos or you can refer our materials which we have already developed. We write the course there. We distribute it to the students. You can refer this. That, but it should be able to. You should be able to understand. Once you understand, it is very easy for you to answer in the exams. You can write your own. Whatever we teach you, just you sit and listen. Then you transfer. Okay. So this is what the applications of IT. We use IT everywhere. Tell me where we are not using. Everywhere in all the fields. Okay. Nowadays, you are getting robo. It will make uh, what? It will cook for you, but it is very expensive. You have to place the bar, the bus, coffee box, sugar box like that only. It is uh, all programmed. Line, line, the uh, row one, sugar. Row in first, second column, coffee. It will only put. I like little bit of sugar then. Uh, more uh, milk, little water. I will program it accordingly. It will make coffee for me. It will make upma for me. How to do upma? You have, you have to come. It is all they are doing it, but it is very costly. Nowadays, you need not sweep the house. Now there, you are getting robots. It will clean, but it will take lots of time. Okay. So you will lose the pay 
variations. Now they are just doing make up of them. Already given the ad, they showed me the demo at my house. It's okay, you can buy. But it takes time. And they have the what? It will only sweep your house, it will mop your house, and when by the time the charger will get reduced, it will go and sit on the charger. It will it will get the what? Fully Fully it is charged, the automatic off is there. Okay? It will switch off automatically. So all the options are very nice. Thing is, you have to pay more. Okay? <coughs> you can configure the room, area, and all. It will, by the time you come home, it will make your house clean and neat. Okay? Each and every. It will not go above uh, one thing. It is very nice. I have seen it. It's very helpful. In future, you will get more faster devices. Yeah, yeah. It will only, uh, it will only move the door. It will make chapatis. Chapatis will come. Okay. There are so many. You have to put little bit of water. How much is there? It will only mix it up. Roti maker is there. So that is all you are seeing. No, nowadays. Making your uh, what day to day activities look uh, easy, okay? You can make, but little bit you have to configure, put the floor, water, even now, nowadays, everybody is conscious about the oil, you should not eat much oil. So, uh, without the oil, also, you can uh, fry it, but it is okay. <laughs> Okay, see when you eat popcorn with the oil and all, it will be very tasty. If you make it in oven and all, the taste is not there, but yeah, like it's good for health. Okay, good for health without the oil and all. So you can get adjusted to that. So we have done different types, even uh, for weather forecasting, cyclone warning. Everywhere we are learning, we learn me. Then nowadays, uh, villagers need not go to uh, go to the water. Yeah, so they they get all their land which they are sitting at home only. Okay, uh, this land belongs to me. No one can cheat them. Okay, earlier they 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 were cheated. Okay, so their documents were uh, taken up by the chairman of the. Now it is very easy, no one can pick anybody. Everything is available in the Bhumi. This is called as a Bhumi project in Karnataka. Likewise, in every state they have their own project. Okay. So they are using e-governance. E-governance means land recording, everything. Suppose if you buy a site also, it is in your name or not, you can check that. Now in order for your fingerprints, in order to what? Uh, to identify the culprits, fingerprints, uh, you can identify the fingerprints. Then missiles, bombing, defense, everywhere. Railway, railway timetable, you need not ask anybody. You have a what, uh, display board, screens and all. You can see the, the travel, departure, arrival, timetable and all. Okay. Then airlines, road traffic control. Monitoring, crowded, shipping, transport means everywhere, bus, railways, everywhere we are using. Okay? Airports, then communication network like radio satellites and all. Okay? They are inaudible. Now you are getting web radio. We have you, we have launched web radio also. You can watch our uh, live radio classes also. We have our own mobile. Uh, Radio classes. We have radio classes. Shortly, we are launching online uh, MC and all. So you need not come to KS. So you, you can watch us live. All that we are doing. So uh, students, you have understood, no? Today's class, you have learned different types of ROM. ROM means what? Then language translators are very important. Different types of language translators you have learned. How many types of language translators are there? Which are there? Assemblers. Okay. Okay. What does compilers do? It reads 
the whole program at that time and then continue. Interpreter what it does? Line by line. Assemblers translates only assembly language. What is this assembly language? Language written in mnemonics. Okay. So how the then we have done different types of uh, software, application software and system software. What do you mean by application software? For using general, yeah, there are two types. General and specific. General means one uh, one application software can be used for many purposes. For example, Google, Excel, PowerPoint. Specific purpose means only for a particular uh, application. For example, tally. Tally is used for financial purposes. Okay, all that we have learned. Then we have learned IT in different applications where we use everywhere. Air, transport, then uh, educational institutions, even, uh, uh, even at home also we use na? sleeping, cleaning, washing, cooking, everywhere we use. Okay? Even in your uh, vehicles we use. Then we use in e governments uh, for maintaining our land records. Okay, all that no one can teach now. No one can uh, teach anybody. Okay? You can see this. This land belongs to whom? Okay, when you buy also, it is transferred to this, this, like that then. Uh, that is called as entry. Certificate name is there. There you can see from this period to this period, you will be there. Suppose you, if you buy the land this year, then that shows from this year, the owner is your. Okay, all that you can see in the website only. Thank you for listening. Yeah, next class we continue with number systems. That is very important. Don't miss my class. How to convert a decimal to digital and digital to decimal. And we will learn different types of what kilobytes means what, gigabytes means what, megabytes means what, terabytes means what, petabytes means what. Okay? Different types of uh, how do you measure. We have already learned bit means what, byte means what. Okay. Next class, don't miss my class. Uh, I will teach you with, uh, how to convert the digital to the binary, binary to digital and other uh, whatever I have. Okay. Thank you, students. All the best.